So here's another quick exercise where they're asking us to find an unknown current. So that would be this current here, which is going through the 13 ohm resistor. Uh, and then this approach, uh, we're going to utilize source transformation uh, to figure this out. So let's see how we would apply that here uh, in, this, in this application. So the first thing we want to notice is we have uh, this part of the circuit here, a voltage source with a resistor in series with that. And so uh, we should be able to recall from the literature that when we have this, we can replace that with a current source with a resistor in parallel with it. And so uh, what does this look like? So what we would have then is if we have a voltage source here, some V and some R, we can replace that with a current source and a resistor. So the connection points are still the same here and here. And so in this case then, the current source will be V over R and the R stays the same. So for our application, um, we have 30 volts and six ohms. So then our current source would then be uh, 30 divided by six, which would be five amps that'll be in parallel with a six ohm resistor. So we just replaced that part of the circuit with that. And so now we want to look at uh, this part of the circuit here. So if we do that, we can just draw that straight into our circuit. And so let's do that. So when we do, that means we have this current source here which we said was three amps. And then this resistance, which is 12 ohms, 12 ohms. Okay, so now we should be able to combine uh, our current sources. So we see then that we have a five amp and a three amp in series, so that's five plus three is eight. So let's get a, a new color here. So let's redo this. So this will be this guy and this guy. So it's five plus three, so we'll have a new current source, which will be eight amps. And then we'll notice that we now have a six ohm and a 12 ohm resistor in parallel. Well, we know for the resultant resistance up here, uh, that'll be six in parallel with 12. And so when we do that, it's gonna be six times 12 over six plus 12. And when we uh, work that out, uh, we get four ohms. So now this is a four ohm resistor. So eight amps with four ohms. So now we want to come back and look at this part of the circuit here. So we can, uh, we can look at that and we can say, okay, well first let's take this part of the circuit and let's convert that back. So this goes both ways here, right? So now uh, we can convert that back to a voltage source in series with the resistor. So it works just the opposite. So now we take our 8 amps times our 4 ohms, and that gives us 32 volts. Our resistor stays the same, 4 ohms. So we can... Uh, Again, the terminals are the same. Now we have this uh, 13 ohm resistor in series. Okay, and then same thing. We wanna convert this to a voltage source with a series resistor. So again, these terminals here 
the same as these terminals here. And so to do that, remember we multiply the resistor times the current to get the value of our voltage source. And so that's going to be 12 volts. And then our resistor stays the same and just moves in series. So there we're using source transformation again. <clears throat> so again, this was 13 ohms and this is three ohms. So now, <clears throat> If we want to know the value of the current flowing here, it's just an Ohm's law problem now, right? So remember that V, V is equal to IR, and we know that I is equal to V over R. So in this case, our voltages, is, as we go around this loop, we see we have 32 volts, and then we have coming against this one, so it's minus 12 volts. And then our total resistance, we have uh, 13 plus 3, so that's 13 plus 3 plus 4. And so we calculate that out. We're going to have 20 over 20. And so that is 1 amp. So this is the value of the current flowing through there. So this current right here flowing through the 13 ohm resistor is one amp.